Hello lovely people, it's Nicole and today I am doing the makeup book tag, hence the reason my face is naked. Um, so we're at kind of a, like literally almost the exact opposite angle we're usually at. Um, this is my, my desk and my makeup area. So let's just jump right in and get started. So I couldn't find the, sorry brushes are loud, um, I couldn't find the like original person who did the tag, the one I'm using is like I think Sarah with an H's version. So if you originally made the tag, please let me know. Or if you know who, um, let me know because I haven't been able to find it. Take these off. Yep, we're going glasses list. So the first question is primer. Pick a book that left left a lasting impression. I'm using the NYX Shine Killer. I mean, I feel like the like go to answer here is Harry Potter. You know, because like I mean, I've literally like I have a book on how Harry Potter like, has left, like, a very distinct impact on millennials and, like, how they vote, how they think, how they act. But I also feel like that's kind of, like, a cop-out answer just because, like, obviously, like, it left a lasting impression on everyone. So, like, my secondary answer is going to be the Fox Report because I don't think there's been a single day since I read that book series that, like, I haven't thought about it. All right, next question slash makeup thing. Foundation. Pick your favorite first book in a series. I'm using Too Faced Born This Way in Snow. Yeah, um, that's just how pale I am. My foundation shade is literally called Snow. Oh, it's hard. I didn't think about this beforehand, which I probably should have. I want to say, you know, let's go like classic. I say classic. Classic for me, not like classic, classic. But um, let's go with Aragon by Christopher Paolini. That book, like, the first book in the series is so, like, cool and magical. I just love, like, going back to it and rereading it. It's great. It just makes me so happy. Uh, if you're wondering, this mirror, it says As Travars. On it, I got it from Alcray a few months back, and it's a uh, reference to V.E. Schwab's Shades of Magic series. Ooh, Shades of Magic, actually. That's a more recent, um, good first book in a series. I love that series. And that's one of the series that, like, the first book is amazing, and, like, the books only get better as you go on. Okay, we're gonna call that good for foundation. Concealer. Pick a character you wish you could get rid of. I feel like just straight up picking like a villain is cheating, but like Rico Moriyama can die in a hole. It's from the Fox Will Quit slash All for the Game series by Nora Sakovic. But like, I hate him so much. I've like never hated a villain more than I hate Rico. I don't know. Zara Dearborn I'm using NARS concealer in light to vanilla, which like is probably a bit darker than it should be. Like if I could get the like light one, but like this is what Sephora had by the gas register, so. All right, next question. Powder, pick your la favorite last book in a series. We're gonna go with The Raven King by Maggie Steve Otter. It's the last book in the Raven cycle. I'm using the Cody Airspun, which is like quality wise great. I will say that if you're sensitive to scents, it is like so unbelievably perfumey. So that's, you know, a drawback. Raven King is like so good. It was pretty much like everything that I hoped would happen happened, but like not necessarily in the way that I expected. And like there was still surprises. So like it was satisfying and it was also like kept you on your toes. It was so good. And that's like an interesting series to have a finale for because that's one of those series where like she told us what would happen. Like she told us in the very beginning of the series like Daisy's gonna die. And then she's very consistent. She was very consistent in like interviews, in panels, whatever, whenever anyone asked her, you know, like so are, like, are you gonna like somehow, are they gonna say Gainsey or like, are they gonna get out of it somehow? And she's like, nope, Gainsey's gonna die. Gainsey's gonna die. She wasn't lying to us, but also like, there's so much more going on around it that like is so interesting. I love it so much. Oh my God. Eyebrows, a book you think everyone should read. I'm using Benefit 
the um, the pencil and the pre precisely my brow pencil in two. I'm not really like a everyone should read this book kind of person. Like I think that like everyone has their own diverse reading taste and like that's great. And like there's not really a book that like everyone should read. But like lo the Love Simon movie is coming out soon. So like everyone should read Simon. I can't see anything. Everyone should read Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda um, because I love it and it's amazing. <laughs> on Twitter the other day and someone made a joke about how like Love, Simon is like a gay only event um, and like the straights are banned which like is my favorite kind of joke um, and like a straight person responded being like it's so like it's sad to see gay people like talk like this and, like straight should be invited and like I think that Love, Simon's like a really important thing for straight people to see because it shows them that gay people are human and not monsters and I'm like what the fuck like are you really fucking saying no bitches need a rom-com to see that we're human like what the hell I'd hope that like you guys have had moved past the like all gay people are gonna give you AIDS or horrible monsters phase, but like okay. Um, but like it's a really good book, so everyone should read Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli, because it's amazing. Okay, those aren't perfect, but like my brows are never perfect, and like that's. Another advantage of wearing glasses is that no one can tell when your brows aren't perfect. Eyeshadow, a book that has your favorite colors on the cover. So for this one, um, I'm gonna like show you and then like move on to my eyeshadow and talk about it. But I'm gonna go with The uh, Gods of Asgard by Rick Riordan. It has a lot of colors on the cover and like it has like the teals I like and the dark blues I like. Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, Ship of the Dead by Rick Riordan. Very pretty cover. So for eyeshadow, I'm using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette, which like I just got literally yesterday, so I haven't had a chance to play with it. But look how pretty it is! I spent like. 10 minutes doing my eyeshadow. All right, next question is eyeliner, and that's pick a dark and mysterious book. I'm using the Urban Decay Razor Sharp Perversion Liner. My, like, go-to book for, like, dark and mysterious is The Savage Song by V. E. Schwab, Victoria Schwab. I don't know, it's confusing. She writes under V. E. Schwab for adult books and Victoria Schwab for YA, but, like, The Savage Song is YA in America and adult in UK, so like it's confusing, but it's like super dark. But basically this savage song is about a world where like violence creates literal monsters. So like if you kill someone, you create a monster. And like different kinds of violence create different kinds of monsters. Violent non-fatal acts create like one kind murders create another and then like mass tragedies create a third and like the different kinds of monsters are mainly different by like they eat different things so like one kind eats drinks blood one kind like chews like bone or flesh and then the third kind that's created by mass tragedies like most dangerous kind eats souls and it focuses on a monster boy who is like one of the soul eating kind and he wants to he like doesn't want to be a monster he wants to be human and a teenage girl who's a human whose dad is a mob boss and like she wants to prove to him that she can be monstrous and they like become friends it's really good and like i highly recommend it i never get my eyeliner perfect i envy people who do mascara pick a long book let's go with lady midnight or um lord of shadows we're gonna go with Lord of Shadows because I love it so much. This is uh, the matching mascara to the eyeliner. This is Urban K Perversion. It's great. It's like super black. So Lord of Shadows and Lady Midnight, those are the Dark Artifices series by Cassandra Clare. They are so good. Personally, they might be my favorite series she's done yet. I mean, we still have Queen of Air and Darkness to come out, so like the series isn't done yet, but it's like it deals with some awesome like friendship stuff and like family stuff and like we're getting to learn more about the fairies and I love Kit and Ty and like we're gonna see more of them in like another series so like I'm sure when that one comes out that's gonna be like my fave just because they are my fave characters that she's ever written so I mean I also maybe like 
it's been a while since I've read any of the others. Um, which Emma Books is hosting a Cassandra Clare read-along this year that y'all should participate in. Um, she made a video about it. She also, like, there's a Facebook group that you can join if you like talking about Shadowhunters. Um, it's called the Dreg Society. She has all the information on her channel. She made a video about it. But, like, highly recommend. Although I will say that, like, my Facebook feed is now, like, 90% people talking about, um, Cassandra Clare, which is, like, not a problem. I don't mind it, really. Next up is Blush. Pick a book with a cringe-worthy romance. Cringe-worthy romance. I'm using the Tarte Parte. There's seriously like three A's in this party. Cringe-worthy romance. I don't know, I'm usually like a big fan of romance. There aren't very many books that like I hated the romance for. I mean like I don't really see why there needed to be a romance in The Hunger Games. For a lot of dystopians, I don't really see why there needs to be a romance because like you're like trying to save your life and like stay alive. Why are you like stopping to make out? I mean like obviously there's like the cringeworthy romance in um, like Twilight and like I'm very done with love triangles at this point unless they're done like really well. There's not a thing for contour or bronzer on here so I'm just gonna keep talking about cringeworthy romances. Oh uh, the romance between Emma and what's his name the main character in um, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children is a little like weird just because like you're dating your grandfather's ex-girlfriend kind of yikes but like you do you okay so the question for highlighter is to pick a book that brightened your day which is adorable and i love that um i'm going to be using this is the highlighter that i use when i like won't like Boom! Highlight. Um, this is the Colourpop highlighter in Flexitarian. I'm gonna go with uh, Autobiography by Christina Lauren. There has been some issues with the authors being like weird with reviewers. I have a friend who like was, I don't know, had like a weird exchange with them um, that was like kind of yikes. But I was in the other day. I was in like kind of a weird reading mood, like. I don't know, I've been trying to read Tahara Mafi's latest book for like a while now and it just like hasn't been clicking with me and so I wanted something like light and fluffy. And so I picked up um, The Dangerous Art of Fitting In, or of Blending In. Can't remember who the author is right now. And I was like, oh, I want like a queer contemporary. And like that was not nearly as fluffy as like I'd been shooting for. So, it, I mean like it's a good book, but it's like a lot of like discussion of like abuse and like homophobia and then I was like god damn it that's like not nearly as you know that's not what I was wanting um good book but like you know not what I was hoping for then I went and I picked up autobiography and like again it's like not quite as fluffy as I was aiming for but like a lot fluffier than the other one and I really enjoyed it it was like the romance was cute and like there was some good discussion of religion in there I'm like not normally a fan of discussions of religion in my books uh just because like i am not a religious person and like i have weird emotions about religion and like i just it just like makes me uncomfortable books like talk, the talking about religion a lot like make, kind of make me uncomfortable um which is like i know that's like a hundred percent just like a me thing but that's like one of my squicks like i don't want to read about it but like i'm not like judging other people for doing it you know but like this was like good discussion of religion and like it worked for me and the romance was super cute and i loved it good book but like I do want to like make it clear that like the authors have been in like hot water before for their interactions with book people. Last thing is lipstick and that is your favorite book kiss. That's like a big question. Also that means I have to like remember that. Let me choose a lipstick. Hey guys, which lipstick should I choose? I don't think I have enough lipstick. <laughs> um, we're doing a uh, ColourPop liquid lipstick in midi with NYX Intense Butter Gloss in Tres Leches on top. Um, my favorite book kiss, you know what, let's go with a classic. The Remini Kiss in Deathly Hallows is always great. The Remini Kiss, it's just like, it's a classic and it's not, it had been built up over like so many books and like the whole 
Should Hermione be with Ron or with Harry thing was like not the point of what we were supposed to be paying attention to in the books, but like it's what everyone talked about. Um, although like of course there was more people talking about Drary. Anyway, doesn't matter. But like the Romani kiss had just been like, it'd been so long and like it'd been built up for so long and it was just so satisfying and like such a dramatic moment of like they're finally like their feelings have sort of like boiled over the top the cauldron and like they're finally telling each other how they feel about each other and then you have Harry just standing in the background being like what the fuck guys like we're in the middle of like going to battle like this is not the time to stop and make out so it had like the perfect balance of dramatic love emotion and then also like humor so just quality kiss all around putting my glasses back on so I can see you guys now. Oh hi! Finished makeup look! Let me know what you guys thought about this tag in the comments. Give me your answers to any of these questions. I'd love to hear from you guys. I love you guys and I will talk to you later. Bye!